bringing Christ to the nations and the nations to the church. Daily devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Party Poopers by Dr. Carrie Vo, Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. The text is Acts chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. And as they, the disciples of Jesus, were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them greatly annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of the men came to about 5,000. On the next day, their rulers and elders and scribes gathered together in Jerusalem, with Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and all who were of the high priestly family. And when they had set them in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, by what means this man has been healed, let it be known to you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name given under heaven among men by which we must be saved. One line in this story completely cracks me up. It's the part when it said that the chief priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees were greatly annoyed. Annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Well, yes, I should say so. It must be incredibly annoying to go to all the trouble of crucifying someone only to have his followers pop up and tell everybody that he hasn't stayed dead. It must be even more frustrating when those followers actually do a miracle in public, right in front of everyone. That God-given miracle just underlined the truth of everything they were saying. No wonder the leaders threw Peter and John in jail overnight. They probably needed some time just to figure out what to do next. That annoyed reaction is hilarious, but on another level, it's really sad as well. To have this reaction means missing the boat entirely, missing the joy, missing the good news altogether. Jesus' resurrection means so many wonderful things. It means, first of all, that the one we love has returned back from the dead and will never die again. It means that his suffering had a purpose and that Jesus has accomplished what he set out to do, freeing the human race from sin and judgment. It means that he really is the Son of God, just as he said he was. It means that all he told us is true. It means that the power of death is permanently broken not just by God, but by a human being, by one of us, by Jesus Christ. It means that all of us will rise again too, because Jesus is sharing his victory with us and with everyone, everyone who will take his gift and trust him. What John and Peter were saying is the best news in the world. Rejoice in it and tell others as well. And pray with me. Help me, Lord to see all the wonderful things that you have done for us through your death and resurrection. Amen. Mm -hmm.